Well, executives, on behalf of everyone here at Esquire Magazine, I would like to thank all of you for coming to the announcement of this year's 2021 Esquire Sexiest Woman Alive. Now, as you know, over 800 Esquire employees voted for this year's Sexiest Woman Alive. And in the past, there have been some pretty tight races. This year, however, it was truly a no-brainer. A real unanimous decision. No contest. Gentlemen, this year's Esquire Sexiest Woman Alive is... Dr. Rachel Levine! Mr. Grindley. Yes, Jason? It's not that I don't think Dr. Levine isn't attractive. It's just, since we're considering the entire planet, uh, don't you think there might be somebody that's a tad bit sexier? Jason, I understand what you're saying. The thing is, you're only paying attention to looks. It's 2021. Being sexy is more than a phenomenal rack and a great pair of legs. It's bravery. It's triumph. It's the look on one's face that says, I made this. All right, but surely there's gonna be runners up. That way we can have more women in the magazine for our readers. Oh, sure. It's my pleasure to say that second place went to Anne McClan Custer, the great Congresswoman from New Hampshire. <laughs> Third place went to body positive model, Tess Holliday. And fourth place was a close one. It was actually a tie between Gary Oldman and Hugh Grant. Okay, but they're not even women. Jason, you're not getting it. In 2021, being a female doesn't actually mean being a female. It means embodying the female qualities, bravery, triumph, the look on one's face that says, I, yeah, 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 I, I got it, but let's just, you know, call a spade a spade. For the past 50 years, we made billions of dollars off of objectifying women, publishing Photoshop images of impossibly unattainable bodies, brainwashing men to have unrealistic expectations of the women that surround them, and in turn, causing those very same women to have eating disorders and depression. But now, in the year 2021, we're turning into great people and care about what's on the inside? Oh, Jason, we're not good people. We're horrible people. We still sell a false reality, and we certainly don't respect women. We don't? Of course not. Take it from a misogynist like me. I'd much rather see a woman up there with airbrushed abs, tits out to here, and an ass so tight it would send men to their bathroom on their lunch breaks and women to the bathroom on their lunch breaks to throw up. You would? Of course. There's just no money in looking hot anymore. Everybody's hot now. Women got smart. They started working out, eating healthy all the time, starting businesses. Guys aren't gonna spend $12 on a magazine to see hot women when they can go on Instagram and see an endless stream of hot women for free. So you changed the strategy. Exactly. We redefined sexy. Now it's about what's on the inside. It's not that we've changed, Jason. It's that what people are willing to spend money on has changed. So you see, Jason, we're still the same shallow, culture-manipulating, money-hungry magazine executives we've always been. It's just that this year, we don't need to pay anyone to Photoshop apps. Okay, well, as long as we're still in it for the money. <laughs>